This is the Limu TV, a station where you watch and learn. Welcome to our class, and your teacher today is Rajab. In today's class, we'll be looking at methods of trade. And in methods of trade, we'll be getting to regional trade. In our previous lesson, we had looked at local trade as a method of trade. But for today, we'll get to regional trade. So at the end of the lesson, I will expect that we get to, this, to state factors that facilitated the development of trans-Saharan trade. But again, we'll get to look at what is this trans-Saharan trade. Now, regional trade, this is the exchange of goods conducted between two or more geographical regions. And an example of regional trade is trans-Saharan trade and long distance trade. And now for today, we'll get to concentrate much of our, of our time in class looking at trans-Saharan trade as an example of regional trade. Now, what is this trans-Saharan trade? From what you can see, trans-Saharan trade, it linked Africa as a continent and the Arab world or the Asian world. So what is trans-Saharan trade? This is the trade that was conducted across the Sahara, and it, 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 it always linked the people of Africa and those of Asia world. Now, let us look at what are some of those factors that facilitated the development of trans-Saharan trade. We had a number of factors, but we get to look at some of the main factors that facilitated the development of this trans-Saharan trade. One, we get to see that there were well-established trade routes. From our diagram, you can get to see, you can point out a number of centers. And those centers that have been put in dots or in bold, those were the trade routes that they used. For example, you can note there is Zijilmasa as a center. Then it went to all along to Tamatit, right? Or to Gat, or to Gao. There is another, there's another trade route from uh, Idjil to Ogadane, Olalata. Kombu, Saleh, Jen, Lobby, uh, those are trade routes. So if you can look at those trade routes, they are well defined. Now, that is a, a factor that facilitated the development of trans-Saharan trade. So one, we have said there was established, that there was a well-established trade routes. Another factor, there was the existence of pack animals. What are these pack animals? They included animals like camels and horses they could carry goods on their back. So these animals highly facilitated transportation of the traders and also the trade routes. As you can see there, we can see horses there. We can also see, also, also see donkeys, right? They are culling goods. And, and in the first picture, you can see one of the horses carrying a trader. So these, these, these pack animals could carry trade goods and also the trade items. Another factor that facilitated the trans-Saharan trade is the existence of, or, or rather the availability of capital. This capital was, was provided by the rich Tuareg and Barba merchants. Merchants are, are, are wealth people. So these people, as you can see them, as dressed as they are, they were wealthy people from the north. They were wealthy people from Asia. These are the people who could facilitate the trade. So we have basically looked at a few factors that facilitated the development of trade. Now, can we get to try this uh, activity? Can you try and state the trade goods that were used in the trans-Saharan trade? And also, can you get to discuss the factors that facilitated development of trans-Saharan trade as, a, as an example of regional, regional trade? Can we refer to evolving world history and government Form 2, student's book. Thank you so much and see you in the next class.